Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. In this video, we'll learn a cool trick to manage the imports in a nicer way. Relative imports are great, but as our project grows, managing these become a real pain. What if I say we can create aliases of directories and then use those? So instead of saying dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash pages forward slash login dot js, what if I can say at pages forward slash login dot js? But then at the runtime, this at pages should be converted into a valid path so that nothing breaks. In Cypress, preprocessor plugin is responsible for preparing support and test files for the browser. By default, Cypress comes packaged with a Webpack preprocessor already installed, and hence we would make use of Webpack preprocessor. So let's open the NPM and look out for a package. The package that you have to look out for is at Cypress forward slash webpack hyphen preprocessor. Okay, you can read more about this particular package on this page, but I've extracted all the required information and pasted that in here. So step one is installation. Now, this is the package that we have to install, but this has uh, dependency on certain peers, and these are those peers. Chances are that you might have already installed these peers as direct dependencies or as transient dependencies. If not, then you have to install uh, all of this. So then our command will become npm install hyphen hyphen save dev, and we have to give the name of all of these packages. Go to your terminal, execute this command. I have already done that in the interest of time. Now, step two is Open your plugin folder. Under that, you have index.js. In index.js, you have to first bring in this required package. Then you have to copy this code, okay? And you have to paste it at the bottom, right? You might already be having this, right? So paste it after that, okay? Now, to use a preprocessor, we should bind to the file preprocessor event in the plugins file and that is what we are doing it here so this is my event okay and i'm making use of webpack so what this thing is going to do like i explained it is going to prepare our test files and when we are preparing our test files right uh, there are cases like in here right what i'm doing is i am using the login class that i've created inside this file right so webpack should be able to resolve this okay in here we are saying that go and read one file which is going to be webpack.config.js okay because we want to have this extended functionality and hence we have to create this webpack.config.js file in the root folder and webpack will automatically use that okay so this is the file that i've created and this is our step three so in step three you see we are making use of the path module this is a native node.js module okay and then we are exporting certain things from that file okay in this particular file we have this resolve object and in this object we'll have the options for resolving module requests okay so under alias you have at pages okay which is nothing but pointing to this particular directory so when webpack pair our test files before the execution starts right it is going to resolve all these dependencies with the help of this particular file okay all set all configurations are done now let's move to our test cases so in the first case we are using the relative imports so let me just run it and check everything works okay so we are, have entered test in the email thing all right now let us comment the relative import part and uncomment the one we just created right this is the alias okay and now we are going to enter test one two three let me save this and run this again great right so everything is still working which means that the path was resolved properly this is a nicer way of managing your imports so in here i have shown how can i you know create an alias for my pages directory same way you will have helper util blah 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 whatnot okay so same way what you can do is in your web config.js you can add in more aliases in here all right so you can either go for this at the rate symbol 
or, and in that case you have to use these quotations but if you just want to say api for example you write uh, you create a folder for api all right then you can also do it like this okay so you can add as many aliases as you want okay like that okay so i hope you like this thank you so much